టేక్ ఎవరిబడి ఐఎమ్ బంధుల బేసింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ జనిత్ ఇమిగ్రేషన్ కన్సల్టెంట్స్ టుడే యాక్చువల్లీ టుడే ఇస్ ట్వంటీ సిక్స్త్ మార్చ్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ఐ జస్ట్ వాంట్ టు గివ్ యూ సమ్ అప్డేట్స్ అబౌట్ ద కెనేడియన్ మైగ్రేషన్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ యాజ్ అట్ ప్రజెంట్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ ఎంటి ప్రోగ్రామ్ స్పెషల్లీ సోఫా రిక్వైర్డ్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద అప్లికెంట్స్ టు టు గెట్ ఐయర్స్ ఓపి యాక్చువల్లీ సెల్ పిప్ దట్ దట్ ది అదే ఎగ్జామ్ హై మార్క్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ అట్ ఫ్రమ్ రీసెంట్లీ పిటిఈ ఎగ్జామ్ ఆల్సో ఈస్ ఎక్సెప్టెడ్ నా సో బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ ఐఎల్డిఎస్ ద రిక్వైర్మెంట్ బేసికలీ వాస్ ఎయిట్ ఫార్ లిస్నింగ్ అండ్ సెవెన్ ఈచ్ ఇన్ అదర్ త్రీ బ్యాండ్స్ ఇన్ ద జనరల్ ఐఎల్డిఎస్ టెస్ట్ at least sometimes very rarely um, you know results below that were also good enough but for great majority of applicants in order for them to get selected under the express entry program according to the thresholds uh, at that time uh, they require the, that high uh, that kind of high uh, level high high standard in uh, the language however uh with some changes recently uh, especially with the introduction of the uh, targeted occupation uh, lists to the system to this program uh, that means a uh, high demand occupation list uh, for some categories especially for healthcare uh, sector uh, employees uh, for example if they have uh, at least one year experience within the last 5 years so they now have a better uh, chance of uh, getting selected uh, with even lower ilts for example even uh, 6.5 overall ilts could well be enough for those who are below 35 uh, however even up to the age of uh, 50 you may well be eligible if you uh, still can get uh, listening 8 and the other three bands 7 uh, each uh with a masters degree uh, to, uh, to to give you more points uh, for those who whose age is uh, below 34 that requirement is bit uh, less um, uh, i mean the ielts requirement uh, could be uh, around 6.6 to 6.5 uh, but no band can be below 6 uh, for those who are below 30 years uh, things are even uh, easier they most of the time do not need a uh, masters degree or two qualifications uh, even a bachelor degree could be good enough so the requirement for uh, actually the occupation categories basically are nurses and caregivers but not all 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 caregiver types and also uh, doctors dentists veterinary surgeons uh, pharmacists Uh, physiotherapist psychologist and uh, categories like that uh, and actually if you can send us your email address by text uh, to uh, 0777 00 00 0777009200 we can send you all the information detailed information and uh, you must actually go through that very carefully there's so much information because this is actually your life you know you are thinking about migrating so it's not easy to understand sometimes so you have to go through it uh, the emails the attachments uh, a few times and understand where you stand i mean whether you are eligible at present or whether you can make yourself eligible within another six months or one year down the road uh, so you have to decide that after that actually uh, we can give you a consultation all the details will be sent by email uh, so basically this message is all about uh, healthcare occupations uh, the things are now easier uh, in short even uh, 6 to 6.5 ilds is good enough uh, for some uh, they will need uh, a masters degree uh, for some they will not uh, need um, a master's degree to uh, reach the required uh, points level uh, so yeah 
again you know uh, as i mentioned uh, you can send us your email address to 0 triple seven double zero nine two double zero this is only for healthcare occupations and also if you uh, do not have uh, healthcare occupation experience what you can do is actually you can um, you can if you are doing it genuine genuinely we have some clients who are doing it genuinely like part time they are working as caregivers so sometimes they quit their jobs and they work as a caregiver or even a pharmacy assistant but you have to bear in mind that you this should be done very carefully to align yourself according uh, with the program uh, so this should be done with the proper advice uh, otherwise you know the uh, your application could get rejected so this is this should be genuine i mean you must genuinely work uh, in a healthcare occupation uh, sometimes 6 months is good enough uh, so sometimes it you will need one year work experience uh, as a caregiver. Now, uh, for you to work as a caregiver or pharmacy assistant, uh, even on the job training could be could well be good enough. Three month course uh, before you start working, or uh, actually even without that, uh, on the job training after on the job tra several months of on the job training also. Uh, are good enough uh, to meet these uh, program requirements uh, in order for you to uh, gather, accumulate this uh, very important healthcare occupation experience. And also, uh, another almost sure path, I don't want to say it is 100%, but it is almost 100% uh, certain. If you can achieve level 7 French uh, knowledge. Uh, if you and if you have a bachelor degree, uh, so your chances of get going to Canada is very very high. So and also um, in the backdrop of uh, the new developments in Canada, now uh, they are going to limit uh, students and even temporary workers. And also we have seen uh, there are so many uh, refusals uh, recently. Actually, we do not do a strong research after the immigration. Uh, we but uh, here we, we, we get information that uh, in Sri Lanka for students uh, refusal rate is uh, getting uh, higher. Uh, this is not only for Sri Lanka actually uh, worldwide also it will be higher in the future. And also even once you are in Canada in the future, uh, even after your studies, even after you have worked in Canada, getting the PR is not as easy as it used to be. It is going to be a, uh, actually a very, very difficult path uh, to PR if you go as a student. But I am not telling that all the paths are closed, but uh, you have to understand, uh, you know, it is not easy uh, as in the past. So in that backdrop, uh, you can consider uh, gaining uh, this uh, high demand occupation experience and align yourself uh, with uh, this high demand occupation category uh, draws or targeted occupation draws uh, through which you can go as a permanent resident with your family okay thank you